Hi, I'm George Choi. And I'm Sarah Choi. And uh, today we're from a different location, but, I, but that's a secret and we'll tell you why in a second. Okay. <laughs> so what have we been up to this week? Well, uh, in terms of our latest commercial property that we're buying, um, it's getting very close, signed the contract. Um, we're just, you know, just waiting, waiting to push it over the line and waiting yeah. to transfer the money um, for, the, for the deposit. Um, so hopefully I have some good news um, to give you on that very soon. Yep. Um, I went, if you saw my video last week, then um, we, I went to see um, a, a development, um, a potential JV um, partnership, and uh, we're negotiating, negotiating heads of terms at the moment, so mm -hmm. uh, that looks promising. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll update you on that next week, so I'll keep you keep posted, so keep watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but the main thing, the main reason why um, we're doing this video right now and why we're in a different location is because uh, one of the things you can do is um, try and work um, on your business, not in your business. We've been so doing a lot of work in, in the in business. In the business. So yeah. working in the business is just doing all those everyday tasks, you know, like contacting surveyors and following up, following up and progressing your properties and all, all that kind of thing. Making video logs. <laughs> yeah, yeah well that's, that's an optional extra. <laughs> yeah, um, to, but we've been doing a lot of that lately. Yeah, so, so it's just keeping your business moving along. That's what kind of working in your business. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, working on your business is more about taking taking a step back and so this can apply to any business not just property anything and we are certainly going to apply this to um, the other businesses that we have so uh, what we've decided what we've decided to do was to have a, a two-day off-site so um, we're we've, we've, we've gone away we've actually, we're actually not that far from our home no, 25 minute drive from our house <laughs> 25 minutes so it's not that far but it's a different location mm -hmm. and it's an upmarket location yep. so it creates you know inspiration and creativity and it takes you away abundance mindset an abundance mindset well. yeah. so you've got to think everything is abundant knowledge is abundant money is abundant yep. everything's abundant um, but it helps to stimulate creativity being in a you know a totally different um, environment yep. so we put we put together um, an agenda um, and uh, it's largely framed around three books uh, and we've, we've created this to go through all of our property business and Sarah's going to kind of talk you through roughly the framework that we've um, followed. Okay, uh, yeah, so we decided we're going to do one day on our property business and one day on our VTRAP business because those are our kind of two main ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and the books that we, we, we've read a lot of business books over the last years, but... Loads! Like, um, <laughs> really expensive! <laughs> because we've spend so much time working in our business some things we've implemented but not as much as we would like mm -hmm. so we read this book last week the entrepreneur revolution by um daniel Priestley, which annika recommended it's actually really informative actually and it was so good that i was like well we have to action some of these things immediately mm -hmm. so yeah i've got george to start reading it but because he's busier than me he hasn't completely finished it. he's nearly there i've got most of the way through yeah you got most of the way through. <laughs> um but we basically decided that we needed some time to actually step out of what we were doing day to day and actually implement some of these things. So mm. that's the main one we've been looking at. The other two are uh, Clockwork and Traction, both of which we've read over the last sort of, six months or so, and again, had lots of good points, but we haven't really done much about. So I thought, okay, well, I, I wrote this agenda to sort of look at all the different areas of our business in relation to these books. And we've sort of gone through, because um, Entrepreneur Revolution in particular, this one has got sort of 10 sort of challenges to kind of put you more into an entrepreneurial mindset, which, as I say, some of them we've done, and mm. some we've done naturally, some of which we've done over the last year, and others um, we haven't done. Some of which, as I say, we did the property part of our um, break yesterday. We're not going to do absolutely all of them, but most of them we are going to try, even though some of them make us fairly uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, but that's so, where you grow. You grow exactly. by being so uncomfortable. Some of them we're just going to kind of take it on faith. Okay, I can kind of get where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do it yeah. anyway. Um, one in particular that we're going to implement is taking people out to lunch, which, you know, because we know a lot of property people, but not very many property people near where we live. Mm. Um, so, and, and not just property people, I mean other yeah. people. Business, business yeah. owners. So we're going to attempt mm. to take somebody out for lunch each week, sort of in our local area, um, and pay mm. for them. So yeah. if you live near yeah. us, you know, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking, looking to invite people who... You know, will be useful to us in some way, or we can, you know, they can give us some advice, or we can make a contact, or they might be able to direct us towards other people that might mm, be able to help us yeah. as well. So it's not just to meet people to do JVs; it's more to kind of meet people to, 
get interesting stories and learn things about different areas you don't yeah. necessarily know, get their experience on mm. things. So that's something that we're going to do going forward. Yeah, either re relevant to commercial property mm. or um, health and, vegan health. Yes. Yeah, so, but you know, local letting mm. agents. Yeah, you know, it, it could be anybody that we may be able to work with or help or learn something mm. from. Basically. And what, what other tips would you say are in are in in this book? Um, in terms of the framework that we've followed, what, what other things well, do we look at? Well, as I say, we did the 10 challenges. Um, the other one, the main one, is it's kind of getting a... They call it the ATM, uh, but it's basically some sort of uh, business funnel, which, you know, we, we've kind of learnt about. Touchstone do it and other companies do it. It's basically sort of a free free item that you offer to people, kind of a low... Um, low value item like a well, low value, high value low cost item I'd mm, say yeah. like a book or sort of a, a cheap training and then kind of your core offering which is something that's a lot more expensive so kind of in the thousand pound range and then from there there's the kind of product that you offer people who are already your clients your kind of raving fans so the kind of the really expensive but hugely valuable offer and we hadn't really thought about that when it comes to our property and so we've we're, we're going we're gonna to yeah. develop that for, for, our, for ourselves, yeah. but you could apply this to any, any business. Any so it's business, not really and it's, you know, we, we, I think that that's going to apply quite a lot to our, our V-Tribe business as well. We can talk about that today. But, you know, having sort of the low-level offers to get people to trust you, I think, is quite valuable because jumping straight in with something that is a high-value product or sort of a high-risk transaction with somebody can be difficult mm. and by having kind of building the level of trust with the sort of lower end items I think with pretty much any business is, is quite a valuable one to sort of build that trust and build that relationship so when you offer something that is more valuable and higher cost that you can they'll, they'll buy it from you basically mm. yeah um, so that I think is really valuable and again we've kind of learned that from other things as well but we are going to try and implement that as well mm. Um, the other ones, clockwork is there's quite a lot of systems in there, traction, um, and, and the QBR. What's the QBR? <laughs> what is the QBR? <laughs> the Queen Bee Roll. Um, for, for our business, it's finding property deals, and that's something that we have been spending some time on, but we do need to be spending more time on because um, everything else has kind of crowded it out, if you know what I mean. Because we, we've so by stepping back during this retreat, we've managed to look at it and think actually. We're not spending enough time doing that. Yeah, we need to spend we, we more time. We do need to prioritise that more mm -hmm. heavily because that's ultimately what's going to be driving our business forward. And if we're not doing that, then, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'd highly recommend that if you have some kind of business, you know, including some kind of property business or some kind of other business, stepping back sort of once a quarter for at least a day and ideally not being in your office, yeah. um, being away from it, being away from the kids, being away from your other demands. And your email and Your, your else. phone. Yeah, yeah. And, other things that just kind of crop up, just loading the dishwasher, cooking your dinner, all these things that take time just mm. to literally say, okay, for this period of time, this day, I'm going to concentrate on my business from the outside. Um, I think it's going to be massively valuable. And again, and, we... Yeah, and may maybe even don't do it on your own. You know, if mm. you're just a one-man band, then why not, you know, you could always team up with somebody else mm -hmm. and say, okay, let's both do it together. And then yeah. you might even actually find that more productive because mm. you might see some similarities between your businesses. So yeah. that's... And that's bouncing your ideas. Way. I mean, we're lucky that we have somebody yeah. we can bounce our ideas off. Quite often, George will come up with something and go, no, that's a stupid idea. Yeah. Or, it's, uh, it's good that we can, we can both yeah. sense check each other. That yeah. we, you know, if we convince something's right... And then, and then one of us will point something out and go, oh, okay, maybe, maybe it's yeah, not right. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> there's something wrong there. It sounds interesting, but that's really not what we're trying to do yes. right now. That, yep. That's quite often a problem that we have yeah. as well. It's the shiny penny where you, you find yeah. something you think, I want it, I want it. It sounds like a like, really no. good idea. Or somebody else is doing it, it sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's not what we're doing. Yes. Um, and that's, again, where, you know, the mentor... Yeah, yeah, having the, two of us is really Having helpful, two of us yeah. is good. But, I mean, being in some sort of network... Mm. Uh, as I say, with us, we have the mastermind. We're also doing this, obviously, Millionaire Maker, so we're getting some really good feedback from some mm. people in there as well. So yeah. just getting other people's feedback on your business from kind of more of an outsider perspective, I think is really useful because you, you can end up going down a rabbit hole sometimes. Yeah. And then sort of six months later, you're like, well, why did I spend all the time <laughs> doing that? Why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, so one, one more thing then. So mm -hmm. the, other, the other book, um, uh, The One with the Rocks, Tell us a bit about rocks. Well, it's, um, it's traction. Um, that's the one that we took out of it. Um, basically, having sort of certain 
doing a quarterly meeting, so that's something we're going to be implementing going forward, and having sort of certain uh, key performance indicators or kind of issues that your business is looking at over that quarter, and then at the end of the quarter, you're looking at how did those rocks do did you do the number of sales calls you said you knew did you view the number of properties you said you were going to view did you fix that big problem? did you fix that big problem <laughs> did you make that higher did you do something and then at the end of the next quarterly meeting you look at what your performance was like over the last three months and then you set your new rocks for the next quarter so that's something that we're going to be doing as well yeah yeah so, so it's been a great um a great great day and, and we're about to have our second day mm -hmm. so really looking forward to doing that and it's going to generate a lot of work for generate us generate a lot of work but it's really it's all useful good. stuff really useful stuff yeah. and will help us to you know help propel us forward in the right direction mm. so we would recommend you do the same yeah so what, what did you think do you enjoy these videos please let us know send us a comment below please if you like it share it with your friends yeah uh, and this Sunday because if you're watching this kind of near where we're sending it out apparently this Sunday is the first voting day First voting day on Million Touchstones. Yeah, yeah. Maker. So, um, so please vote for us. Yeah, <laughs> we will obviously be still doing what we're doing if if we get voted out on Millionaire Maker, but obviously we would love for you to vote for us, and we can carry on providing these interesting hmm. videos, hopefully, and trying to help you because we're trying to give you the information that we've learned. Yeah, share our knowledge with you, mm. and hopefully it will help propel your businesses forward. Yeah. So win win. I will speak to you soon.